I've been here since I was 12, 13. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been great for me I'm right from the start because I was a United fan anyway. And um, I was actually at Manchester City before, before I was at United. So then I went just for trials at United. They wanted me to sign. So I signed with them. And ever since, I mean, I, I've loved it really. Well, there was a bit of debate about my first goal because it was on my, my first full debut really um, against Manchester City and I think Brian McClare's crossed the ball and I've just gone across a defender and he's hit it in as an own goal and he's gone on record as saying I don't want it, let the, let the young lad have it, I mean I was only 17, let the young lad have it. So from then on, even though I didn't really touch it, even then the record books say that I scored it. I think the goal I enjoyed most was probably um, Arsenal in the semi-final of the FA Cup. Um, I mean, I enjoyed enjoyed scoring the goal, but I think equally so because of the occasion. Um, we were down to ten men. We were just holding on, really, just to try and get penalties, and then I managed to score the goal. Um, I mean, if you ask all the players, all the players want to play in the FA Cup. I mean, I've, got, I've been fortunate to be in four FA Cup finals and, and win three of them. And it's, it's why you become a footballer, to play in the FA Cup final at Wembley in front of 90,000. I mean, you watch it, watched it on telly since you were a young lad. And that's why you want to become a footballer. So when they pulled out, you know, disappointed. But equally so, I mean... You can't. You can only play so many games in a season, and it would have been too tough for us, I think. And the players were never really involved. I mean, um, you know, it wasn't really up to the players. I think everyone at the club knew that the, obviously the players want to play. But you, you've also got to recognise that we were we were going to Brazil, and that would take a lot out of us. And it would have been very difficult to fit in the games, especially us doing well in the Champions League as well. Yeah, because I mean, you want you want quality players to beat United, and without a doubt, I think he's one of the best players in Britain, if not Europe. And he's he's sort of the heartbeat of the of the team. Really, he keeps everything ticking over. Um, he's a winner, and you know, all the lads want him to stay. Bex has handled it brilliantly uh, because. I don't think until you're in that position, you know what he's going through. I mean, driving out your house every single day and being followed off cameras and paparazzi, um, it's not nice. It's something that, unless you've experienced, you can't really explain. And I think for Bex, I think the best place is to be is on the football pitch. I mean, he's, he's always been a, a player who practices, um, stays behind. I mean, I think he, you see it in his face, he enjoys training, loves training, and loves playing. And that's where he's at his best. You love it, I mean, being in the papers, we're 17, 18, you're on the back pages um, every week. And, and it's great, people say nice things about you. But then, you know, after a couple of years, they, they start prying into your private life, your, they want to know your background, they want to know where you come from, what your family are doing, what your brothers are doing, who you're going out with, your girlfriends, and that's when it becomes hard because, I mean, personally, I mean, I, I can handle that, I can handle every, anything now. It's just when, you know, they're talking about your girlfriend or your, your parents or, you know, your brother or sister, that's, that it's hard to take. You see players come and go all the time. I mean, you see players who, who you've worked with day in, day out for seven or eight years and then all of a sudden they've gone and you don't see them and it's it just because, it's just, you just get used to it really. Players coming in and out. Um, with, with signing players, I think it's always good. It's always good to improve, even when you're, you're doing well. I think it's always, good to bring players in, quality players who are going to improve the club. And the manager wasn't too happy in, in Madrid. 
purely because of, of the standards that we've set ourselves and with the way that over the last couple of years, I mean, Inter Milan, Juventus, we'd always managed to, to score goals away from home. And at this part of the, of the season and this part of the Champions League, it's always important to score away goals because you, you don't want to be playing your home game knowing that, you know, if the other team score, you've got to score more than them. The lads are disappointed about last night because we really thought that we had a great chance this year of winning it again. Um, it was just gutted, really. I mean, because, like I said, I mean, we thought we we had the beating of them, and we thought that we were a better side than them. But all credit to Madrid that they, they come and they try to score goals. They didn't just sit back and try and defend. And sometimes you need a bit of luck as well. I mean, a lot of chances that we had could have gone our way um, last year we, we had a lot of we had a lot of luck and sometimes you need a little bit of luck and I think maybe our luck just ran out last night it's hard but you've just got to stay focused now we've just got to finish the job of the championship we've got to make sure that we do ourselves justice and win our remaining five games which we're capable of doing but um, obviously it's, it's gutting knowing that if we win at the weekend, the season's over. And with last year, you know, we, we had the Champions League, we had the FA Cup. So it's a little bit of an empty feeling, really. Last year, we, we always played at home first um, against, against Inter and against Juventus as well. I think... Um, we score our goals at home and then away from home we know what, what, what we've got to do. We know that we're going to score goals away from home because the, the, the home side will be chasing us. So I think it's, you think it's an advantage having your home leg second, but I think it's the other way around really. I think the way we play, counter-attack team, it's better to, to get the result at home and then defend and try and score away from home second leg.